zone perched upon high with that weird shaved flank. Good kitten, Internet. Today's going to be a trip. You said it, kitty. My trip today was to the Midwest Gaming Classic in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. It had a very large number of classic games, along with standard board gaming collection that I'm apparently mousing over. Um, so the classic E.T. from the Atari, um, complete with nice shadow box of everything dealing with E.T. other than landfill. They had other classic gaming systems. For instance, this was an Amiga 500. I, this is the only Amiga that I spotted there. Sorry, creator. Uh, they did have other class, and I mean, this was an what, IBM XT. Yeah, an IBM XT. Uh, I had actually played Alley Cat as a kid, so that was a nice touch to see. And you know, this was in the gaming museum area. I should mention uh, Commodore 64. The gaming museum area had a bunch of classic consoles. Yeah, it was quite nice. Then there's the other area. This is the arcade area, specifically the pinball area. Oh boy, have pinball machines changed since I was young. Um, these had brand new pinball machines along with classic ones. So for instance, what I'm about to zoom into here, this is the Wonka pinball machine. And they actually had cameras set up so you could see what the players were doing. In order to get out of the extremely noisy arcade area, I would sometimes stop by the vendor area, which had a lot of very expensive classic games. Um, from the Commodore 64, including some of the hardware for the Commodore 64. They had plenty of other consoles, and some games that were actually behind hard plastic that if you needed to ask what the price of what the game was, you can't afford it. Also, I got myself thoroughly trounced by the person that I was with um, in playing pinball. It's almost as though he plays in tournaments and I hadn't played in 10 years. That's fine, this is actually a record for this table, apparently. So yeah, it was an interesting experience, and I'm glad that I went. So, here is my haul. Well, helps if I actually get all of my haul. Thing client is not a part of the haul. So, uh, here is my haul. So, first thing I have is this older, so they used to have a lot of these types of things, but five older titles in a single box. These are five D&D games, uh, specifically Second Ed AD&D, all five in the same box. That was nice. This is the Japanese version of Wild Arms. The cover art is so much nicer. Hi, me. Nice, reflective. It's still new in plastic. Um, like I said, the cover art for Wild Arms 1 is so much nicer, and this was 20 bucks. This was also 20 bucks for reference. Uh, yeah, it's the same Wild Arms. Um, I'll get into Wild Arms sometime later. I'm actually thinking about that being my next Vita Beyond... Or not Vita, um, Let's Play Beyond the Might Magic series. It's going through the Wild Arms series. And then finally, this. So this is a little pocket. Um, the seller was selling dice bags, and while I have a totally awesome dice bag that can't possibly be beaten because it was cr made by my partner, and my partner is awesome, these bags are canvas, and they're washable. They're actually machine wash safe, but I decided I wanted a small little bag for initiative and other card type things. So, yeah, um... I took a picture of where uh, of their website because they didn't have any business cards, so editor me from the future. Yes. Could you put it on screen right about now? Oh, you're not going to cry while I have the game pointed at you. Uh-huh. Isu and I are both fairly tired. Well, um, that pretty much concludes my video internet um the voiceover that you've heard in the video prior to now that is me from the future because there's no way i can do voiceover over the video but yeah um so that was the midwest gaming classic good night internet i'll see you tomorrow
male.